Okay, I'm just going to show you how to mark out and find the center and mark out your piece of material. Now, this is MDF, this is 9mm MDF, this is for your clock. Um, you could have acrylic, you could have plywood, okay, but it's the same. The equipment we're going to be using, we're going to be using a steel ruler, a pencil, a 5.5mm twist drill, and this piece of equipment here. This is what we call a jig. A jig is something which is made to do a specific task repeatedly. It comes from the kind of repeated dance, a jig doing the same thing over and over again. So this is our jig and we can see here it says 240 millimeter diameter jig. So what we're going to do quite simply is we're going to get a steel ruler. We need a slightly longer steel ruler for this and to find the center of any Square, we can just join the corners, do this as accurately as possible, and using the pencil, we can cross those over and mark the center. Then I'm going to just for ease, I'm going to use the cordless drill. So I'm going to take my 5.5 millimeter twist drill and fit it into there. Um, I'm putting on a set of goggles for this. If you're using um, the pillar drill you need to do the same and what we're doing is we're accurately, I'm just using a piece of waste material under there when we drill anywhere near the bench we need to use waste material. We're going to line this up and we're just drilling a 5.5 millimeter hole. Once we've done that we've got a piece of material, we've found the center, this is really useful later when we're um, going to do our clock face because we obviously need to put the mechanism in there. Then we put the jig in here, we put fit the pencil into here and the pencil needs to be quite sharp good idea to just sharpen the pencil before we can just move this round and we can see the pencil just sticks out through there that it, it works like a compass but in any any tool that works like this we'll call a jig because it just helps us with a task it would be quite difficult to draw that so now what we've got is we've got a central hole we've also got a circle it's 240 millimeters, which should mean even if you do it slightly inaccurately, you'll get a good circle. You can then use the, um, a coping saw or the Hegner saw to cut round there. When you do that, cut round a few millimeters outside of the line. Don't cut on the line because obviously you'll wander across it or you'll, you'll lose the line. And then again, sand down to just... Um, just a millimetre from the line as you can probably see there and then you'll get your approximately 240 millimetre diameter blank to start making your clock. So that is going from your square of material to your disc.